Laz has had one of the worst trips to Atlantic City I feel like that anybody could ever have. I think it's the first time he's ever driven a big truck and I gave, it, I gave it to him with a 350 and a 450 in the back. I said, bro, I'm cooking. That sucks. Oh no. <laughs> Put it <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, perseverance, baby, perseverance. It don't matter how many times they knock you down, you get your ass back up and you still go get it. They're lighted right now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I told you we were literally picking up right where we left off. We're about to drop Toby off at the hotel. Can I make a left right here? Yep. Just after the light changes. We are driving the motherfucking six by six. We're not crab walking. I don't have Manny with me, so this is kind of terrifying. So if I get into it, I mean, it drives like a normal truck, right? As long as you're not, I don't have the app on my phone, so I can't control the wheels in the back. So it just drives like a normal truck. But we're, we're riding around Atlantic City for a little while, unchaperoned with a six by six. You know, what, do you, what, what do you want to do? You know? Oh, I know what, dude. I definitely don't want to try and mess around with gas it, that's and for break, sure. Gas and brake, gas and You guys need to just sit down, grab you a snack, throw me up on your TV or something, because it's going to be a long video worth the beach. It's Atlantic City Truck Meet. If you guys didn't check out the video from yesterday, we went to Times Square and we were crab walking. It was a good time, so make sure you guys check it out. We got PJ Trucker with me this weekend. Toby's with uh, Venom, right? That's right. Venom. Venom. Toby's the Venom Tire guy. We got a bunch of other people that are going to be hanging out with us. It's going to be a great, great video. Tap in. Let's get this bread. All right, so we are... We just dropped Toby off at the hotel. We're cruising down whatever road this is. I don't know. I don't know Atlantic City. It's my first time being here. But we're going to meet up with Manny. And there's a. I don't know if everybody else is here yet, but we're dropping the trucks off at Bader F Baker Field, Bader Field, whatever it is, where the show is at. So um, today is kind of setup day. I don't really know what's planned for the day. I know we got to drop off all the trucks, set up the tent, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm sure we'll get into some kind of trouble in, in the Atlantic City today, but you never really know. Um, but currently that's the plan is just make the six by six over there in one piece without trashing it before the show, you know? I guess this is it. Looks like it. What's going on? Uh, I'm with Poppy's Garage. I just had to drive the truck back from New York last night, so I don't. Oh, you're one of the then, right? Yeah. I guess. I guess if you just say it with say it with conviction. Yeah, we're pulling in now. Okay, cool. You'll see Mark here. He's the guy that runs the show. You're amazing. Thank you. What's up, you doing all right? We're gonna go down between the uh, to the left of the uh, white fence. Okay. Go in between the detailers, wrap around, or up in the corner, up in that corner back over there. Okay. That's so the only way to get over there. Over there? Okay. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow and Sunday, right now. Waking up for this though. end up in the back of the truck. Bro, freezing. It's like really cold up here in Atlantic City this weekend, and I'm not I'm not with it, to be honest. I'm glad I brought a hoodie. Bro, I did not bring a hoodie. <laughs> the scenery's kind of cool, though. We're staying at the Tropicana. Drink that juice, Tropicana. <laughs> you ever heard that song? Probably not. This place is really giving me Daytona vibes. You ever been to Daytona? Give me Daytona vibes, to be honest. Look at this big old piece of... 
walls and floor. This is nice. That is. <laughs> casino up here. That's cool. This place is huge. It's like a whole little mall inside here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yes! I knew you. I knew you'd come around. I knew you'd come around. Oh yes. We have not been to sleep yet tonight in Starbucks. Sounds so far. Stopped and got a couple of things to be able to set up the booth today. It's a pretty nice venue. I'll bring the drone out and get some drone shots later for you guys. Got one goal today. What is our one goal today? Other than sleep. Sleep. Wash the trucks and put them in their spot. This is Sammy's key. Ooh, Sammy's gonna be upset. I'm driving his truck before he is. Everything's slow. Okay. I'll creep in it. All right, it hasn't been driven before. Okay. It's only gonna turn in one direction, I think, because I didn't, I just put that jam nut in there. Whoop. So it don't turn right? It should turn only in one direction. The other, I mean, it'll turn the other way, but you're not gonna get nice. Oh, okay. Well, we'll make it work. One gold day, wash the trucks. Seems pretty easy, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Sammy's gonna be really upset that I'm driving his truck before him, though. Sammy, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, that's gonna come off if I try and do that. Let's not do that, I guess. Oh! I'll never get used to hopping in these big-ass trucks, though. That's for sure. Sammy's new like 15 inch, 15 to 20 inch adjustable, fully bolt on Poppy's lift kit. Oh. I think it sounds really good too. Sammy, are you jealous? I would be. I want to show love to the people that watch the videos. This is Rondell. What's up, bro? I want to show some love to you in the video so you can go watch yourself on oh. YouTube later. I'm going to be a little famous. Hey. I'm not as famous, but I'm a little nah, famous. Nah, no, you're more famous than me. You're more famous than me. You got a truck out here? Yeah, that's my truck right really? there. Really? watch right Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to do a review on the truck, but I just want to show some love right. to you for watching the videos, bro. Look at this guy with the Rick Ross hat on. spin though. Yeah, <laughs> them up, bitches man? spin show setup days are almost better than the actual show because there's one percent of the amount of people out here on setup days and there will be on the show day there's not a lot of music playing and people are moving stuff around a bunch so you don't really have to walk around as much but you get to come see all the stuff up close and personal about a bunch of people being around it just to me it's so much better the setup days are kind of becoming my favorite over the show days I didn't really talk about this truck much when we were at the Rick Ross show because it was the first time that it had ever been revealed to the public. And there was a lot going on to be 100% honest with you, so I didn't really want to talk about it much because the Rick Ross show is loud and there's just so many people. 
And in Times Square last night, well, obviously we didn't take it to Times Square, so it wouldn't have been there for me to talk about anyway. I wanted to officially show you guys Sammy's new 15 to 20 inch fully bolt-on Poppy's Cradle Kit, four link front, four link rear. This one is set at about 14 to 15 inches right now with a fully, without maxing it out, a f another full five inches that we you could definitely go up to 20 on this. And it's still a huge truck the way that it sits. You've got the coilovers in the front with the Poppy's logo on them, which is super cool. You got the triple bypass carbon shocks on the front, which is another awesome upgrade that we've added to some of these kits. The big custom sway bar in the front with all the overlays on them, Poppy's brackets to go on them. The overlays are one of the coolest things about these kits to me because they have all the milled accent pieces on them. So you can get whatever color you want, obviously black, white. White seems to be the favorite around here, white and red, which I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of. You know, red's my favorite color. That bolt-on Poppy's kit is super easy to put on and it just the craziest thing to me is the price point on these kits is so on point for being a bolt-on kit the cradles are all bolt-on every I mean any normal shop could do this it's all bolt-on it's nothing major it's not like any level lift but you're getting the quality of an any level lift you're getting the quality of a of a plan B lift or anything big and crazy custom but it's all bolt-on a couple weeks to get it built a couple days to get it installed at the right shop there's some 30s and 42s on a truck like this, and it's absolutely insane. You got your Armani's with the with the floating caps and the 42s. Sammy's got one hell of a truck, and I know that he's going to want to go bigger once he finally gets the truck back. And you know they get it dialed in. They finished this a day before the Rick Ross show last week, and then they unveiled it or un you know released it the day of the Rick Ross show. So I know once they get it back from uh, Bloomington, I think everybody's going to tailgates and tall boys with this one. Once they get it back and get it dialed in, I know he's going to be super excited. And he's going to want to go bigger with it we're also going to be building one of these at the shop in the next couple of weeks too we got about a month and then our kit's going to be in and andrew's getting one of these on the same exact truck black fifth gen crew cab it's getting 30s and 42s i'm pretty sure the same he's going to set his 18 19 20 as big as possible so we're going to be doing one of these at the shop too which is really cool and this is the new poppy's toe pig over here with all the overlays this one's getting overlays too forgot to say that on the on the frame up front so similar kit you got all your sway bar options powder coated springs they did the rough country shocks on this one the cool thing about this kit is that poppy's radius arm is absolutely beautiful when a fully bolt-on rear traction bar kit with the overlays freaking beautiful all the custom powder coat leaf springs face plates absolutely beautiful a little clean and simple look with the Amani's to match with the custom powder coat those got the spinning caps too freaking beautiful got the stars in the in the wheel well yeah that's dope Black and purple is clean. What up, player? Plan B one's always one of my favorites with the lime green and the purple GMC. Frame off. Plan B's got some nice stuff. It's always one of my favorites. I remember seeing this one at LST this year. Look at the the curve on the on the bar. That's just just super cool to me. It's definitely one of my favorites for sure. See the pier, Ferris wheel. This morning of Atlanta truck invasion is Saturday. Got a little bit of a mission to go on before the start of the show today. The whole show will be in a completely separate video. Like I said, we got a little bit of a mission to go on before we get there this morning. Food, save laps.
first thing we do is start taking pictures? Yeah. <laughs> bro, if we're not, look, listen, ain't, no, ain't nothing breaking that smile, bro. No sweaty tears, it don't matter, we still outside with it. Bro. That's so funny. We had to drive up and save Laz. Laz has had one of the worst trips to Atlantic City, I feel like, that anybody could ever have. So we had to come up here and save him. We're picking up the trailer and then he's gonna take this one with him. He was having issues originally with the tow truck. So put that one on the trailer, started driving this one. Now he's got an issue with this one. It's, it's, been, it's been one thing after another, hasn't it? And the trucks are so high that I have to, I have to jack it up with some wheels, some spares, because the, the legs on the trailer aren't long enough. So I'm able to hit, so I'm able to hit the, so I'm able to grab the, the fifth ball. wheel. It's ridiculous. I'm in the truck. Hold on. You there. He said the damn wheel fell off. It's on there now. That sucks. Laz's truck has a little bit of damage and then I think the transmission is going out on the white truck. But on the bright side though, this damn 12 inch Poppy's kit that Edamani has over here with the 30s on it ain't no joke. Look at this bad boy. And you know it's my favorite color red too. Look at this, that's crazy with the, oh with the big boys. That's so freaking cool. Big red poppies, 12 inch. That's crazy. That one's good. That one's gonna look really good in the booth today. That one's gonna look really good. A little, little silver lining to the to the situation. You know, we had to have this one at the show. Y'all shut down the whole damn interstate up here. <laughs> Look, they got the bridge blocked off over there, and they got the, the exit ramp blocked off where we came in at. They blocked off the whole damn, whole damn block over here for them. See, they got it blocked off down there too. At the toll station? <laughs> At the toll station. So the axle. I think I think it's the first time he's ever driven a big truck. And I gave it, I I gave it to him with a 350 and a 450 in the back. I said, bro, I'm cooked. I've been driving well over 25 hours, 26 hours. I said, go ahead, grab the wheel. Whatever happens, happens. It's the first there you time I've ever hit there anything you go. You go. in life. I've never touched anything. Like I've never hit a car. So the axle seal broke in the white one. Spacer broke on this one and curved a wheel. Oh wait, and, and, and the quarter on the bedside is And the, the bed quarter is damaged. Because of when, the, when the tire popped up. Oh. Easily worst trip to Atlantic City. 
I could I mean could I guess it could have been worse could have been worse means that I'm betting black today could have been winning <laughs> it could it could have been worse it could have been worse you're hey, alive so you know you know you know you know what's good that everything is materialistic and everything is fixable and the relationships that I have with the people that are here in an Alex City is worth it a lot more than huh? this as worth it yep what a close Shadow. one Yeah. Look at this freaking this monstrosity of a waffle, bacon, egg, and cheese, and sausage. <laughs> Some chocolate milk. I know you came a little bit late, but I'm glad you're okay. Thank you. I know that you probably had the worst weekend possible. Not the worst, but it's been it's been rough. But now, now we get to go have a good time at Atlantic City Truck Meet, even though the truck meet's already started, so we need to get our shit together and get to the show. If you guys like the content, like, subscribe. The whole Atlantic City Truck Meet video will be in the next video, so make sure you guys tap in. All the beautiful trucks will be there, and the whole show day will be in that video. So make sure you guys go show some love to uh, Legend Motorsports as well. They've been killing it, building all the beautiful stuff for us. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Mm -hmm.